Well, 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 what do we have here? Home up, new version. This is the version 2.0.0.1.19. Let me zoom up a bit. Why is it important, guys? Yesterday I made a video showing up the latest Samsung One UI Home. And they were saying that there are some new things added on the task changer and of course for that you need to have the latest home app but there is no home app update so well 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 see so what we have here one day after this they released the home app and i'm very proud now to present the latest changes to you so what is new here add two kinds of layouts so vertical list and slim list so we're gonna be checking up on this support mini mode only for list grid stock list type and art circular list mode only for vertical list slim list provide quick launch of split screen on recent app all right let's check this one by the way i'm using here the latest samsung one ui home and somebody on my channel vst chat told me that we have this new button here so when you for example go and you select something like this it will happen you're gonna have quick access to the screen split but hey without any further ado guys i'm gonna update right now the latest home app and we're gonna see these new changes so for that of course we need good luck so let me just open good luck okay i'm opening good luck right now for those who doesn't really know i have here the good luck patch by corsicano works everywhere no region locking so if you want to get this guys check this video so i'm going to navigate right now to home app and we're going to see all the new things here so first thing i want to do directly going to task changer and yeah here they are so we have here new layout type so let's check the list one guys so this is the list one it is very very standard then this is the grid one okay grid one well if that's your game why not okay then we have the stack one stack one was also available in the previous version and the new two things i know you're watching this video for the vertical list and the slim list okay let me just don't tease you anymore whoa this is a bit weird but you know i like it so this is the vertical list this is the slim list oh wow okay this is new let me just show you the animation guys here okay not bad by the way let me just put the phone like this all right so yeah i think i like this one so let's go back to Galaxy Store. Oh, everything works. Let's go back here. Let's go back to Good Luck. Let's choose Vertical List. Same here. Okay. Oh, okay. Does it work in that mode too as well? Yeah, it does. So, yeah. But this split screen menu is not working. If I do like this, not working as well. If I go here and I'm just going to do like this, now it's going to work. Yes. Perfectly. We have split screen. Okay. So, very nice. First thing proven to be working. Let's go back and explore the other things. Okay, we don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to undo the full screen. Then we have here the circular list. The vertical list type changes to circular. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Okay, let me I need to open a bit more apps. Let me open more apps, guys. Let me open more apps because we need to test this. This is definitely a fun update, okay? Oh my god, circular list, okay. Yeah, that's that's weird. I have to admit that's weird, but you know, it's also interesting. And the amount of customizations that Samsung is really providing is amazing. Let's do also slim list, but also choose this circular list. So, okay, you see? Okay, can you spot the difference, guys? Let me just go back to good luck. Let me remove this one, and you're gonna see all of these tabs here, all of the applications are pretty much aligned. When I go inside the good luck, and I'm gonna choose the circular list, you see they're not aligned anymore, they're in this circular form, and this can be better seen if I go and select the vertical list, so no circular list on the vertical list, everything pretty neat aligned. Now going back here, implementing the circle list and then you have yeah you can imagine like a big circle surrounding the phone with your applications wow what can i say but hey did you forget there is also another new feature and that goes to the list grid and stack see here when i choose the list i get something called the mini mode show the small recent app list at the bottom of the screen in ported mode in order to make the one hand operation easier and i can tell you guys you're gonna love this one see here all right boom <laughs> one head operation how nice is this all right let's go back okay i'm gonna go to the grid one mini mode again applied oh here holy camoly this is really made to be used with one hand okay and this mini mode can also be applied to the stack one so mini mode stack oh <laughs> small stack what can i tell you guys samsung is really doing a great job they are now upping up their game into the one hand operation let's test this in the real one hand operation in case you forget samsung implemented the one hand mode and it goes like this oops okay so you see 
right now I'm here, so let's go for the recent... Oh, okay, that's convenient. But you know what I'm thinking, guys? You will probably not need to really use the one-handed mode so often if you just have this mini mode because this is really so, so convenient. All right, so let me just show you again in the grid. It's really very, very convenient. Probably one of the best implementation I've seen yet. So really very nice job from Samsung. Some very nice updates. Again, Samsung is really bringing up their A game. What good luck is concerned. A lot of people are not happy with the initial missing task changer now they brought home up to good luck then people were not happy because a lot of things were missing now i think slowly but steady samsung is bringing those things back i really hope that you have enjoyed this video guys if that's the case you might want to subscribe for my channel i would really appreciate that one thank you please you and your families guys stay safe and with that said vst over and bye